Hey guys, this is going to be a quick how-to video on how to change your taskbar color, which is this right here, and also all your window colors. Same thing, it's gray for me right now. How to change your desktop background, your screen saver, and yeah. So, for Windows 7 users, first you need to get to your control panel. If you don't know how to do that, Windows 7 users, you can either go to your start menu right, right here, where you press the button there, go up and it'll say something right around here, that will say control panel. Um, Windows 8 users, you can either go up here and go down to settings and then control panel, or you can just open it through libraries, computer, anything like that, you know, any documents. Any, all right, so once you get in there, you're going to want to go into appearance and personalization and just go down one and this will just make it to you quicker. And you're going to hit change the theme and you're going to be here. So desktop background, color, sound, screensaver. So. In desktop background you can change your desktop background and you can browse through your pictures or you can get like top rated ones or you can also go into your windows desktop backgrounds so you know pick anything you want for me i like this one i'm just gonna check that it save changes all right now screensaver same thing mine is mystify right now so it gives you a little show on what you're gonna have right there so if you look mystify it's gonna we're gonna come up there you go, that's what Mystify kind of does. And you just hit this button, you can change it to whatever you want. So I'm actually going to maybe go to Bubbles, and that's what it will do. Hit Apply, OK. That's how you change your screensaver, desktop background, and then the taskbar stuff. I'm going to hit Color, and then it's going to bring you with all these, and you can go into Automatic. This is your automatic color, or you can pick anything you want. So you know whatever whatever fits your needs green gray white green <laughs> another green pink pink red blue blue anyways go through all those you can change its intensity so i'm going to go with gray full intensity save those changes and that's basically it you can also change your desktop icons and you can you know pick what you want actually right on there mouse pointers this is a big thing a lot of people like to change these up here. You know. Normal select, help select. You can do stuff like that. Anyways. That's how you do it basically. So. Um. Yeah. See you in the next video.